Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. We're gonna look at your connection with this person, how you feel about each other and where it's all headed. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces 100%. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Pisces. I'll have it linked up in the cards and you can get to um, my homepage by clicking on my username and going to the playlist tab and you can find it there as well. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Spirit angels, guys, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding love? This is a reading for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind, okay? So what's going on for Pisces? Devil reverse, Capricorn energy. Ooh, King of Cups reverse. And Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Fool. So I feel like someone's taking a risk um, communicating here, apologizing possibly with the Page of Cups. Um, someone is in a situation that is not healthy. I don't know if this connection has turned unhealthy or one of you is needing to get out of an unhealthy environment. Uh, this could be what is going on in your connection right now. It could be all about you, all about your person, or a mix of both of your energies. So just keep that in mind. Let's get more information before I jump in here. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me some more insight into this connection for Pisces. Now with the King of Cups reverse, it's almost like someone's not dealing well with what's going on emotionally. Okay, we got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And what else for Pisces? Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this is about a past person. Two cards about a past person. Okay. Get some more information here. I'm using my Seller Energy Oracle deck, my physical deck. This is linked down below if you're interested in getting your own. Tell me more about the energy spent surrounding this connection for Pisces. Tell me more about the energies surrounding this connection, please. We got love letter, message, confession, or response. A special message is on its way. Yeah, there's some sort of communication here with the Page of Cups. And I think it's it's like a love message or someone's expressing feelings here. Falling leaves, changes, transition, and time. Time changes everything. This is what I'm hope okay i just heard that this is what i'm hoping this is what this person's hoping has happened they're hoping that time has healed or enough time has passed in order for them to i feel approach you or try again or communicate here bottom of the deck yeah deep regret yes yeah, someone has regrets over what has happened in the past and they're hoping that um there's a change that takes place here Okay, so let's clarify. Help me clarify these energies, Spirit, for Pisces. Help me clarify, please. For Pisces. Tell me about the devil reverse. Why is the devil reverse? Oh, that's way too many. Why is the devil reverse? Okay, we got the hangman. Yeah, there's like um like a stuck energy here. No movement, no action, a lot of thinking though. Someone's seeing things differently with the hangman. 
and then the king of wands reverse yeah no action here there's no action here um I feel like someone has gotten stuck in a situation because they didn't think of the consequences. They jumped into something without really thinking about it. And I have the Ten of Wands here. And now they're carrying a burden or there's a burden or baggage here. Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse. I feel like this is someone that, this is the person that regrets, has regrets. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, so basically this led to some sort of betrayal or difficult ending here. So tell me about this King of Cups reverse. Why is the King of Cups reverse? And I feel like this possibly happened in the past. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse nine of pentacles okay i feel like this might be you here tell me about the king of cups yep two of cups reverse so i think there was a, a separation uh someone's like free of this but i think the pain is still there that the page of swords and the king of pentacles reverse interesting i feel like this person's watching you or or maybe there's um they have access to social media maybe they've even contacted you Tell me more about this um, King of Cups reverse. I'm also picking up um, whatever ending this happened with the King of Wands reverse. Maybe they um, blamed you for it um, or they made you feel guilty or they, they emotionally manipulated you um, or something like that. Maybe they just hurt you deeply. The Knight of Cups, no, not the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like this probably is a situation where maybe you were committed to this person in some way because for some reason when I got this card or I, I looked at this card, I thought of like um, a commitment that was taken back, which that's not really what the Knight of Pentacles reverse is about, but that's the message that I got. And there's a Queen of Pentacles. So for me, she's typically already in a long-term commitment. This could also be financial, like a financial problem. Tell me if that's resonating for you. But I feel like um, on the outside, you look fine or you appear to be doing well. But maybe this person really hurt you, whatever separation happened here. Tell me about the Page of Cups. about the page of cups knight of swords reverse tell me about the page of cups i feel like this is a an apology page of pentacles reverse yeah i feel like this is someone that wants to return yeah they've held on to you um they haven't forgotten about you um, they're going to apologize for deceiving you and um, for not having something to give you or not having something to offer you. Um, this is an apology, I feel. I think this person, they're hoping for luck to be on their side, for there to be a change here, for them to be able to return and have an opportunity here. They could even be... Um, apologizing for leaving in the first place interesting so let's see how you feel about each other tell me more for Pisces please and this other person here what are they thinking or feeling about each other what are their energies for each other here tell me about Pisces what is Pisces energy Pisces energy, please. Oh, fire ant. Tell me more about Pisces energy, please. Otter, okay. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Hmm. 
I think a lot of you think this person's immature or just childish. I'm also getting here, yeah. Okay, so I'm also getting that, by the way, Pisces, I have you on this side, I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. I'm getting this energy here. I'm getting two messages. The first message is that message that I just said. I feel like this is someone that's immature and causes problems through their immaturity, and this is how you view them. I'm also picking up, There's there was a lot of just drama with you and this person. Either a lot of people were involved or there were some heated fights, arguments here. This person is watching and waiting for the right time to take some sort of action here. Um, and it's almost like they're trying to be very strategic and clever about how they approach you, how they handle this. Tell me more. Okay, one more, please, for these two the energies are bringing to this connection. Tell me more, spirit. Okay, have judgment call for you here. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. You made a judgment call, I feel. What's this? Second chances, and then I have some other cards here. I feel like for you, um, this person probably has already tried to communicate with you about a second chance, or perhaps you were um, together and then separated together and separated that kind of limbo. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection spirit? Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. You're kind of mirroring each other here. And I keep saying that, I keep getting that in readings, like very similar energies. It's like they want to rebalance the situation. Um, but I don't know if you are in the same boat, I guess. It'll be different for all of you depending on how this person comes forward. See, I have patiently waiting right behind that. It's like this person's just waiting to make things right. Hoping possibly to make things right here. And, and again with that, you know, waiting for time to pass so that you're not as upset or perhaps enough time has passed that they feel they can have an opportunity here. Tell me more about these two and how they're thinking or feeling about each other, please. Tell me more about Pisces. Hangman reverse. Two of coin. If you're not sure what to do about this person, Perhaps you have a lot going on in your life right now, and this is like the last thing you're thinking about. Chariot reverse, cancer energy. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Knight of Cups reverse. Nine of Coin. Eight of Wands. Yeah, they want to talk. Knight of Swords reversed again. Be very careful though. I'm not liking that energy. Let's see what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you. I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck for this. Tell me more about how is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces and then we'll clarify these. How are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Pisces or this connection? I want a second chance. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. You make me happy. And I wasn't ready at the bottom of the deck. I wasn't ready then, but I'm ready now. That kind of energy. So they want a second chance with you. That is clear. And I feel like they want to reach out and talk to you. Let's clarify these. And I think this is going to be your call to make here.
perhaps this judgment call, this is someone wanting that second chance and that's why that second chance card came out. Let me put it out here. Yeah, I love that card. So let's see. Tell me more. What's this two of coin about? I feel like you want to go in a whole different direction, but we'll see. What's this two of coin about? The sun? What's this two of coin about? Judgment. Yeah, you're the one making a judgment call here. And you have like clarity, like there's clarity I feel for you. It's like you know, you, you, you need to know some of you need to know and have clarity or realization about what truly makes you happy. And others of you, I feel like you're thinking about happiness when it comes to this judgment call. Tell me about, and you're going back and forth. You're not really sure how to decide. Yeah, because there's still heartbreak here. Emotionally, um, there hasn't been healing, sufficient healing, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. You need to make a decision here. I feel like the decision will be yours to make. It's going to be up to you. But I feel like whatever decision you make, be very careful that you are not neglecting yourself here. That you're still thinking about your own happiness. Um, you know, maybe if a lot of time has passed here, maybe you can give someone a second chance with restrictions or with boundaries set in place to protect yourself. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Tell me, yes, I feel like some of you are just ready to walk away towards something new. Tell me about the chariot re reverse, please. Yeah, interesting. We have the knight of pentacles, the ace of cups. Look at this, this is beautiful. This is a new opportunity and love here, an offer that is a very abundant. Um, I feel like this is the direction you want to go in, or perhaps you feel stuck. Um, maybe you need to walk away in order to have this, or perhaps, I don't know, it, I'm getting very conflicted energy here. This is what you're thinking about. Yeah, this is what you're thinking about. You're, you're getting clarity about what you want to do or you're you're seeking clarity um, perhaps you just need to have a communicate uh, clear the air have some sort of open and honest conversation here yeah and again it's it's almost like you're still not completely over what has happened possibly because you haven't really had that conversation with this other person I feel like this is about going in a whole different direction. Either this person's making you an offer where you, they want a second chance and they, they're saying that they want things to be completely different, or others of you are deciding whether to just release the past and then hope for this in the future. Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Let's see, what's this Knight of Cups reversed about? For your person here, why is the Knight of Cups reversed? Yeah, they're making you an offer here. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? Yeah, this is, this is, oops, 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 oops. Oh, hold on. I was gonna say, if I can get my life together. I was gonna say that this is someone that's offering you an opportunity or or you know going out on a date uh, let's meet up let's talk um, I have something serious to say because the page of Pentacles they tend to be uh, serious in nature or like they're they they're not ones to make empty promises and it's almost like they need to talk to you about what happened already in the past here why is the nine of coin here let me bring this out
Sorry, guys. <laughs> I kind of like laying out the cards because sometimes like I can look at them and get messages. So bear with me. Okay. So we have the Nine of Coin and then the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Coin. Seven of Swords Reverse. Tell me about the Nine of Coin. Eight of Wands Reverse. Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Can I get one more for this Seven of Swords Reverse, please, before I say what I just heard or saw or I'm feeling here? Tell me about the Seven of Swords Reverse. Four of Swords. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom here. Nine of Pentacles Reverse. Interesting. So the message that I got here, it's almost like this person wanted to be single or thought um they got caught basically you caught them doing something um something you, you saw them very clearly um i feel like you cut communication with this person because of what you you what happened um i feel like this person sees you as this nine of pentacles too almost like um you really meant what you said and it's like they respect you now for it this person wants to break the silence with this eight of wands and they're thinking they can do it with an ace of pentacles type of offer tell me about the eight of wands of course pisces let me know if that's resonating in the comments tell me about the eight of wands please yeah th this person um i feel like you need to be very careful because I think this person, I'm not really picking up right away that they are, they have, the, you know, terrible intentions, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, we're all human. And sometimes we know that if we were to tell someone the complete truth, sometimes that will hurt them or make the situation worse. That's what I'm picking up here. Tell me more about the eight of wands. Yeah, this is about healing whatever happened here. Yeah, page of wands. This person, they want to heal the past. They want to heal the ending that took place here, this Ten of Swords that they caused. They want to fix it. And I feel like in order to fix it, either they're going to um, try to heal the, the fact that they deceived you and fix that, or perhaps in trying to heal the situation, they might not tell you everything right away, you know, be completely honest with you. Maybe they're testing the waters here, right? So where is this all headed? I'm going to pick a couple cards for where all of this is headed, and then I'll grab a Stellar Guidance Oracle for you as well, Pisces. Okay, so let's see. Where is all of this headed? Spirit? What is going on here in the near future for Pisces and this other person? Where is all of this headed, Spirit? I'm going to grab a couple cards here. Okay, let's see what we got. Six of Swords Reverse. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles Reverse. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles. There you are, Pisces, with the moon at the bottom of the deck. So... What I'm getting here with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, when I put this down, I immediately thought this is going to take a lot more work than someone's thinking. There's a lot of work and energy that needs to be put into this connection. And maybe this is something that someone's working on right now, or perhaps they don't realize that returning to you, they're going to have to come correct. This isn't, you know, the sloppy half ass type of energy or the not really putting in a lot of effort or energy um that's not going to work because you're a queen of pentacles now i feel like this is you um i feel like you're interested in something long term something stable you're very stable right now or getting to this energy and you know i feel like as far as you're concerned there can't be any wishy-washiness or doubt or confusion here 
or unknowns, right? Like you need to know exactly where this is headed, what this person's intentions are. Um, it's not enough that they want a second chance. You need to know also uh, what's what does that entail, right? Let's grab a guidance oracle for you. Start giving it some guidance for Pisces, please. Can get some guidance for Pisces. Okay, we got all that glitters isn't gold. Illusions. Bottom of the deck, good news is on its way. Beautiful. All that glitters isn't gold. Very important energy. Um, this is that moon card right here. You know, all that glitters isn't gold. Right behind that Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands. So just because something looks shiny does not mean that it's real. Um, so I think that's why um, I got that those messages about having clarity and taking, you know, thinking of your own happiness as well, taking care of yourself as well. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching your likes, shares, comments and subscribes. I really appreciate you continuing to watch and support the channel. Don't forget to leave me a comment if this resonated. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I want to see more and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.